All right, it's time to talk Bloodstained. Yes, I am back with some Bloodstained news for the game Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. So I don't tend to do videos that much on Bloodstained, but to me, it's in line with Castlevania. It's kind of like the spiritual successor to the original Castlevania franchise. It's done by Koji Igarashi, so I figure, you know, most of these updates I'm usually probably not going to do a video on, but this one in particular is pretty special. And uh, it's got my mind turning. The gears in my clock tower are going crazy right now. And there's a lot of wishful thinking, but there's also a lot of like realistic expectations that I'm trying to force myself to have. So today we're going to talk about the recent Bloodstained Kickstarter uh, and developer release uh, for the information that they've released to the public about what's coming down the pipeline for Bloodstained, how it may be affecting the game, uh, and maybe a little mini rant here and there about Bloodstained. So let's get right into it. So as you guys know, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night came out several years ago, and what was it, like two, two years ago? Something like that. And Bloodstained's a pretty cool game. I really dig Ritual of the Night. I haven't beaten it yet. I've gotten pretty far, but I just, I don't know. I'm going to go on a little mini tangent here regarding Bloodstained uh, before we get into the meat and potatoes of the discussion of what the recent update was. Bloodstained came out mostly undercooked in the sense that the game needed more time and the developer probably needed more time, wanted more time, but I feel like the fans really pushed online like is this game coming out it's a farce it's bull it's bull bull baloney you know and people thought that this game is not coming out uh or that it was a kickstarter you know joke especially right after mighty number no. nine kind of tanked so people probably thought started to think you know oh this is going to be another mighty number no. nine well it wasn't the game was actually very well put together for the most part but there were bugs there were problems and they didn't finish all the content that was supposed to be on the main release and so they've been like doing this like trickling of released content uh, for the past like two years where they'll come out with a playable character or they'll play out with a play different mode like the classic mode that was released not too long ago. Uh, and of course you've got Intercreates who's working on the Curse of the Moon series which is kind of like a sub-series within the same franchise. They did Curse of the Moon 1, great game. Curse of the Moon 2, pretty good game. I'm really enjoying it so far. I haven't beaten it yet but I did beat Curse of the Moon a few times. So, getting back to the whole reason for this post, you know, they're still updating the Kickstarter with these developer updates, so to speak. And so the most recent one, they actually announced that they are having hiccups with some of the content that's going to be coming out in the near future. Uh, and so they wanted to let people know, hey, we're still working on this. Uh, we're sorry it's taking forever, but we should hopefully have everything worked out soon. I'm going to read this verbatim as far as what they announced today, uh, or uh, maybe a day or so ago, and uh, then talk about it with you guys and speculate and kind of get out the demons that are in my head regarding this topic. Just to paraphrase, they mentioned uh, about the technical issues that they're having uh, regarding this, the, the piece of the game that they're trying to get released and they're not able to get it released. So they said, uh, due to these issues, we do not have a release time frame for you yet, but we would like to share some information on what we have in the works. Our next update will introduce a new playable character to the game. This is a change from our previously released roadmap. We can confirm that this new character is not from the world of Bloodstained. We have been working closely with a well-known partner to bring their character and a friend into the game. Hmm. As with previous characters, you will be able to explore the entire map through those certain abilities will need to be acquired before some areas and bosses can be accessed. Along the way, you will be able to increase the rank and class of the character's special ability to grow in power. We are excited to bring this update to you and we'll have a full announcement when it is closer to launch. So, let's talk about the already playable characters. So you've got Miriam, who's the lead, uh, the lead character in the game who you play as. You could also play as Zengetsu who is also featured in Curse of the Moon and Curse of the Moon 2. Uh, and then you can also play as Bloodless who I think is the first boss or one of the first bosses that you face in uh, Ritual of the Night. So it's not a bloodstained character 
and it's from an outside franchise uh, from a supposedly well-known developer. Hmm, okay. So in my head, I'm thinking indie, okay? I'm thinking indie developer uh, as, as a realistic expectation. Now, what game kind of fits with that? Because, you know, the obvious thing to go with is something super popular like Shantae, for example. So like, what are we talking, like Shantae and Risky Boots? Or like Shantae and uh, Roddy Tops? I don't know if that would fit, honestly. I don't think that would be a good fit for this game. Uh, you know, the, the style would just kind of clash. So what other games uh, are like the 2D side-scrolling type games? Because that's really what we're going with, like a Metroidvania, that word, uh, style. So let's think about it. Uh, Blasphemous came to my head. I was thinking maybe Blasphemous. But uh, I haven't played Blasphemous. I've heard it's really good. And I've heard I would personally like it. But uh, I'm thinking maybe a character from Blasphemous. I know they had that deal with Blasphemous where they were uh, they were trying to, they got, I think, Miriam in the game for uh, Bloodstain, so maybe that. Uh, there's also the game that I did a voice line in, which was uh, Wallachia, and uh, that could have been a possibility, but I really don't think so. I know they had, uh, uh, Wallachia had Miriam in the game, like her costume, you could, uh, the main character in Wallachia can wear Miriam's costume, which is pretty cool. But no, not, uh, I don't think it's that. So where's my head going? Like what would fit with that universe? You know, when you say the main character and a friend, I immediately think, uh, you know, something, you know, indie like uh, ukulele, which totally wouldn't fit. That just wouldn't make any sense. But that's, again, a well-known publisher or developer, well-known character. So now we got to go non-well-known, like non-indie so to speak. And the only thing that comes to mind is Castlevania and Konami. They're a well-known publisher and developer, um, and regardless of what you think of them, they are still, you know, I, there's still some history between Koji Igarashi and, uh, and Konami. And I'm wondering if enough time has passed where, you know, after he's left that they have maybe mended the fence a little bit, and they're like, yeah, yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on over, lend me your character, and, and you know, we'll play. We'll, we'll have some have some fun in Bloodstained. So uh, if we're going to go that route and go with that supreme uh, wacky wild idea uh, of fandoms colliding, uh, you know, mutual kind of styled fandoms colliding, uh, I'm thinking Alucard and Maria. That's the only thing that comes to mind that would fit in with that world, Alucard and Maria. Uh, now, if not, then I don't think classic Belmont. I don't, I don't think like maybe Simon or like, uh, uh, you know, Richter or even like, uh, I was going to say, uh, Trevor and Sypha. Maybe? Uh, maybe? Yeah, Trevor and Sypha could probably fit. Possibly. Maybe if they designed them from the Netflix series, that would probably fit in a little bit better. But again, I don't, I don't think that's the case. I don't think they're going to do it like that. So I'm, I'm curious to know what you guys think about this news. Uh, who you think is going to be the character. Of course, we don't know right now. Uh, it was just announced, but uh, I'm curious to know what everyone thinks about this topic. Who do you think the playable character and friend are going to be uh, from a supposed well-known developer or well-known uh, team or, or publisher? Let me know down in the comments below your choices. And uh, that's all I got for now, uh, but I, I'm going to tell you first off, happy Halloween. And second off, go watch my Castlevania Bloodlines review. I worked on it uh, for quite a bit. We had a lot of fun doing that video, putting it together. It's one of the most unique reviews on my channel, and it's received a lot of praise. A lot of people really like it, so go check it out. Link down below or somewhere on the screen. Guys, thanks so much, and we'll see you later.